Fluid G's world. Today, we're going to have some fun with fluids. Now, before we start any activities in the lab, we need to make sure that we have a safe environment. So, back from holidays, the hat needs to go because that's not safe. And this is not safe either. It might catch on something. So we'll get rid of that. Now, the first thing we're going to look at is the practical theory of matter. And to show a little demonstration, we've got some marshmallows. As we can see here, the marshmallows, nice and small. We're going to put them in our microwave over here for a little bit. Let's press stairs. And we'll see what happens as they gain heat. After that, we're going to look at some fluids. We have some honey here. We also have some molasses and hair gel. Now, what is a fluid? Well, a fluid is a gas or a liquid or anything that flows. Solids aren't fluids because they don't flow continuously. Now, if we have a look here, and we need our glove for safety purposes, we can see that our marshmallows have expanded. Now, what we're going to do is lay them over here and wait to see what happens as they cool. So we'll come back to that. Now, in my pocket, I have a marble. And we have a beaker full of honey. So if we take the marble and we drop it in the beaker, we will see how fast this marble is able to fall. As we can see very clearly, the marble does not fall very fast. The reason for that is because the honey has a high viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of an object to flow. So what we want to do now is we're going to retrieve our marble out of the ooey gooey honey. We'll give it a little shake there so we don't have too much wastage. We're going to throw it here on our paper towel to clean up. And we're going to put our honey on the hot plate to heat. <coughs> now, the next thing we want to look at is flow rate. We'll move our goggles over here for safety purposes when we're dealing with the heat. And we're going to set up a little experiment to demonstrate flow rate. So, we're going to use the molasses and the hair gel. We'll and get some of our materials out of the way here. Move this over like this. This, set it up. And we have a ramp that's going to serve our purpose today. We put it here like this, move it in, nice and close. We've got our molasses and our hair gel. Now, fluids flow at different rates. And as part of today's experiment, we are going to look at the flow rates of different liquids. So we have molasses, which we know is thick, and we have some hair gel, which we know is thick. However, which one has greater viscosity? If we put both there, we'll see that the molasses does flow a little bit faster than the hair gel. Now, viscosity is the resistance to flow. So the less viscosity, the more a fluid will flow. The greater the viscosity, the less a fluid will flow. And as we see here, our molasses is definitely flowing and moving faster than our hair gel. So the molasses, in this case, has less viscosity, where the hair gel has a greater viscosity. So let's get rid of this hair. Back again. We don't need that. Let's go back to our marshmallows. We can see that as they've cooled, they've once again reduced in size. And what happens is, inside the marshmallow are little pockets of air. And we saw in the beginning they were very compact. We provided heat, which caused the air in the marshmallows to speed up and want to take up more space. Heat, increasing temperature, provides particles with energy, the particles move faster. And we saw our marshmallows get much larger. Then as they cool, they once again reduce in size. So according to the particle theory of matter, when objects gain energy, they move faster, and they can cause objects to expand, just like we saw with the marshmallows. Now, if we come back to our honey over here, 
that we've been heating up. So we saw the first time that it took a long time for that, mar that marble to move any distance. What we're going to look at now, we'll clean it off a little bit. Was gooey, gooey, sticky. And our marble is, our honey is heating up. So what should happen, because we've learned that temperature causes particles to move faster, what should happen is the honey with an increased temperature should actually lower its viscosity. And what happens in your car a lot of times is the oil in your car needs to be low in viscosity for the parts to move because you want the parts to move smoothly and the oil acts as a lubricant. So the lower the viscosity in your car, the better. Now, let's see how this marble makes out this time. And we can see that it went much faster because as we increase the temperature, we reduce the viscosity. So, today on G's World, particle theory of matter, flow rate, viscosity. G's World, fun with fluids, wicked awesome.